Today we talked about multiplying uh, decimals with a whole number um, numerically. Before we did it by just filling in boxes using uh, arrays to visually multiply these numbers. But now we're going to do it. <clears throat> we're going to do it uh, numerically, and it's actually very easy. All you do is ignore the decimal and just multiply 72 times 8, for example. 7.2 times 8, you just ignore the decimal, we're going to multiply 72 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16, 7 times 8 is 56, plus 1 is 57. Now we have to figure out where the decimal goes. Well, what you do is you circle the numbers that are after the decimal point in your problem, and then you count them. Here there's only one, so I put my pencil at the end of the number, and I count um, that many places to the left. One. Boop. My answer is 57.6. That's it. So eight, number eight, same thing. 1.45 times three, and I'm just going to multiply this without regard to the decimal. Just 145 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Now I figure out where the decimal goes. I'm going to circle all the numbers after the decimal, the 4 and the 5. And I put my pencil at the very end, and I count two times because there's two numbers circled. 1, 2, boop. 4.35 is my answer. Now we have 8.6 times 9, and I just multiply it as if it were 86, point, 86 times 9, excuse me, 6 times 9 is 54, 8 times 9 is 72, plus 5 is 77. So then I circle all the numbers after the decimal in my problem. There's just one. I put my pencil at the end of the number and I move one place to the left. Boop! 77.4. Then I have 0 0.79 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 5 is 47, and 6 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. So, uh, I'm going to circle all the numbers after my decimal, and I count them, 1, 2. And I put my pencil at the end, and I go 1, 2, boop! That's my answer, 4.74. That's how you multiply decimals by whole numbers.